Well, guess what guys? Round two. So I got another batch of these dudes and I've already had them out of the box. This is just another fake unboxing. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I've already uh, strung them together in, in parallel and balanced them. This time I did, uh, the first, well, the first time I did that on these cells, I strung them together in parallel and let them just balance. I didn't apply a balanced charge to them. This time I strung them in par these this set in parallel and applied a balanced charge to them. And I fully charged them in parallel to 3.65. So it's actually pretty close. It's kind of in that that steep knee gonna really start to ramp up this voltage real soon but I'm using my charger to apply a charge to these cells as I've got them in parallel and to balance so I'm gonna set I'm gonna put these together in series and we're gonna run another capacity test uh, one I want to see if this new set uh, gives me the nice uh, 58 amp hours over rating of these cells and also I'm interested if maybe I get even better uh, you know can we can we go to 59 can we go to 60 uh, that would be incredible um, basically because I, I think these are a little bit more balanced and char and, and actually charged than these were when I did the initial capacity test on these. So I'm going to build these up. I'm going to move these out of the way and uh, I'll be back. All right guys, I got this new pack put together. Put the first batch back in this box over here and uh, uh, it looks like it's fairly decent uh, balance. Uh, I think that'll be that'll be fine. I'm uh, I'm not going to uh, run the test yet. It is it's it's just too hot in here. I'm gonna wait until the sun goes down. I mean, like look at this. It's hot. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait till that sun goes down, and then I'll hook up my shunt, and uh, we'll run a a load test, a discharge test see what these guys are at see you back in a little bit okay sun's gone down it's cool outside and I'm gonna run this discharge test on this new set of these big ass cells let's see we got you know just idle voltage there pretty well balanced got the gin tech shunt where's it at all set up and I actually got it to stay on this screen where last time you saw me where I had to keep pushing it to go on it, figured out how to set that setting. I also set up the uh, battery to 55 amp hours, so this guy knows it's 55 amp hours. And so I do believe that this battery meter right here should go down as the test goes. So I'm going to run the test now. So there you have it. Uh, basically, I think the same result uh, as the first uh, batch of cells. We're at uh, 58.450 amp hours. So we have exceeded the rated capacity of these cells on this discharge test. And that's fantastic. These, these are real deal guys. Um, Yes, I killed it when uh, cell 7 is the one that dropped uh, just below 2.5. So, yeah, 
these are great cells. Um, you know, three and a half, roughly three and a half amp hours over the rated capacity. Right on. I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, by the way, if you want to get these cells, use uh, use my discount code BMC. It'll be down in the description below, and you'll get 5% off, which probably will cover your shipping or whatever. Anyways, till next time.